Hello. Um, good morning, afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Fedora 33 release party. Unfortunately, something came up for Matthew, and he'll be joining us as soon as he can. So I have a couple cool things to tell you about the release party. And then Ben's going to say a little something. So um, first of all, today we have sessions, informational sessions from a couple individuals on different things that are happening in Fedora or things that were implemented in F33. So that should be fun. We also have a super special event, a Halloween party. So I asked, is this international? They said yes. And also it is family friendly. So if you have a costume, kids are around or not, just a hat, come as you are. It should be a ton of fun. I have a link here for you to sign up. I'm going to send an invitation by email with the email that you put right there around 1130. Some people should already have them. Uh, there is a second special event tomorrow that is called War of the Wizards. It's kind of like a mini D&D &D session and you split up into groups, come up with some crazy fun stuff and have a good time. So that one is tomorrow. Uh, you can sign up for that on the same page right there. Also tomorrow, we are having lightning talks. So at Nest, we had a lot of requests for lightning talks. And we threw one together in um, Mozilla Hubs, which was fun and chaotic. But we couldn't really hold more than 25 people well. So we're going to do it on this platform this time. And if you have something to share, feel free to sign up right there on that wiki page. Um, what else? There is by request a game room as a hallway track. I had a couple people ask if we could play Among Us or Tetris or uh, various uh, different games during the release party. And of course you absolutely can. So if you wanna do that, head over there. Um, I probably, I'm thinking that in between the coffee break times will be, uh, you can't hear me? Can people hear me? Oh, okay, cool. Someone said they can't. You might have to refresh. Okay. Um, lost my train of thought a little bit, but I think I went over almost everything. And, uh, enjoy the polls, enjoy the chats. Um, anyway, like I was just saying to Ben before this call, if there was like an event to really celebrate what Ben does, it's this event. Um, we're so lucky to have Ben here to action. Oh my gosh. No, action Ben Patton all day long. <laughs> um, so yes, you know, thanks for all the, <laughs> the work you do, Ben. And here's a chance to, you know, tell everyone what you think. So I've been looking over the notes and uh, y'all really uh, did some work this time. Uh, no, but on honestly, um, this has been a, a great release for our community. Um, and despite what Marie says, uh, I don't actually make that much of a difference one way or another, but shh, don't tell my boss. Um, but uh you know this is ended up being the second largest change set of any release since we switched to the changes process some 13 14 releases ago uh including some really big stuff like i don't know changing a default file system um so the fact that we we're able to keep our on time streak has been uh really impressive this is now our sixth on time release um and, you know, this one was kind of fun because at the end we had to make a very hard decision about whether or not we should actually release it on time. And I will, uh, in the coming weeks, have a, a blog post about, you know, explaining some of that decision more publicly and why we did that. Uh, but I do really appreciate all the work that went into uh, all of the development and testing and 
documentation and design work and all the great stuff that happens uh, every six months, somehow without fail, uh, even during a pandemic. So uh, thank you to the whole community for your work. And it's great to have a party where we can all uh, globally come together and celebrate the work we did. Cool. I'm just uh, trying to see maybe if we can get Matthew on video real quick um, before we sign off. But I guess I'll say one thing. You know, I'm uh, Fedora's community. I know I didn't do introductions. I'm Marie Norton, Fedora's community action and impact coordinator. It's very nice to see you all today. Um, so I do community management for you guys and, um, you know, something that drives me is uh, to make a really fun, uh, fulfilling experience for the contributors here in the Fedora community. There is a badge, it's being worked on. It's getting pushed right now, Mira. There will be a link. Um, I designed it this morning, just FYI. <laughs> so uh, uh, I guess the point that I was trying to make is that we couldn't, you know, Fedora is made up of everybody here this is our thing. We should celebrate. So, you know, thank you. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Make sure to give us some good feedback after so we could make it even better the next time. You know, Matthew and I were talking and saying, like, maybe this is something we kind of always should have done. Um, because it's just a really cool thing to be able to celebrate with everyone uh, all together. So uh, really excited Matthew can make it. Uh, and I'm going to give you the floor for the last four minutes. Yes. Sorry, I had some, um, was staying up very late last night watching election returns and then did not wake up to my alarm this morning. Thank you for texting me, Ben. Um, and uh, anyways, and then, and then my computer um, running Fedora 33 had some issues, no audio devices found when I turned it on. So then that took me, cost me another couple minutes, but here I am now, nothing, nothing else is going wrong. I rebooted and it's perfect. Rebooting solves all computer problems as we know. Um, anyways, glad to see you all here. Um, it's an amazing number of people um, for a release party. I'm, uh, that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, we were, we've often had release parties, you know, at local places around the world, which is cool. And I'm looking forward to when those can be a thing again. But I also think the idea of us coming together globally is nice. Um, right after Nest, Marie and I were so energized. We were like, let's do another Nest in the, in the winter. Uh, won't that be awesome? Um, and then um, a little bit later, we were like, wow that's more work than we could possibly handle. What a terrible idea that was. But having something like this, which, um, you know, doesn't take as much preparation, but still gets us all together to, you know, enjoy each other's company and have fun and learn a little bit and everything seems like something that is, is a good regular occurrence. Um, so anyways, uh, welcome all. What's, what's up next, Marie, on our schedule? Next we have session. It's going to uh, be a couple in a row, including yours. Um, I, I know I got mine. I'm, I'm <laughs> and then, and then uh, we're gonna have a pub quiz with Eva, our nice. fave. Always popular. Yep, yep, yep. And then midday, we're gonna do a Halloween party, and I talked all about that, um, and and put links in the chat. There's a couple more sessions, and then we'll wrap up for today. Tomorrow, we'll just be doing that for the wizards a lightning talk session and wrap up. And there was a request to do Pictionary at the end. So I'm going right. to stay a little bit later and do Pictionary if people want to hang out. Nice. Yep. So I think we're right about the time. Um, okay. Looking forward to the upcoming session, Python 3.9. Awesome. See everybody over there. <laughs> Bye, guys.